morning, Facebook family and friends. It's approximately 44 at night, almost midnight. It is Monday, January the 8th. Homosexual. Homosexual is a word, unfortunately, I've become very familiar with. Homosexual. H O B O. Sexual. Hobo. Like hobo a bum. A homosexual is a person who. Hold on. What is a homosexual? A homosexual is a person who dates you with the sole interest of having a place to stay, not a genuine romantic interest. Now, I'm reading an article here written by a woman who she met a man who she thought Drew really liked her, but he really didn't. He was only there because he needed a place to stay. He was homeless. He stayed at her home for six months. I'm going to post the article to the link. Six months. And um, yeah, she, she was a few thousand dollars in debt when it was over with. She, she says she was lucky in one sense. Because I wasn't head over heels in love. My mind wasn't clouded with thoughts of love. And there was no question of trying to make things work. I was more disappointed in losing a friendship with a good friend. Well, it was a toxic relationship, often going back and forth, sometimes fear. It's just, there's some signs here. He's too good to be true. You're catching a little white lies. He tells you how, tells you his sad relationship story early on. His living situation is questionable, that's so important. If he's sleeping on a friend's couch, even the story he tells is plausible, be very careful. He may be simply waiting for the next woman to welcome him to your home to the sheer pleasure of his company. His in between jobs are going through a bad patch at the moment. Um, unfortunately, I've done, met guys like this. They're homosexuals, and I didn't know what the term, didn't know what it was. And to now, these men are liars, manipulators, jobless, broke, looking for opportunities to take advantage of people. Unfortunately, in the black gay community, you have a large group of guys who come to Atlanta just to hustle people. They move here all the time. The job market sucks here. So these homosexuals come here, lie to people, deceive them. Make it seem as if they really want a genuine relationship with this person. But they're really just looking for a warm bed to sleep in and some food to eat. And yeah. And then they go to the next victim. And they're hanging there for six to eight months. Until the person gets tired of their bullshit. And then being jobless. Laying up in the house in the house watching TV all day. Or going or whatever extra extracurricular activities they do, because they don't bring any income. They don't bring any money, they can't contribute to the household. Let me tell you something. I've met guys, both gay and straight, who've done this to men and women. They're allowed to go from house to house looking for somebody to take care of them. And they have, and they have some lies. Ooh, they some big lies. Look, this is Baca. I couldn't find the glass, my normal glass. I grabbed the cup. These guys are the biggest liars and manipulators because they need a place to stay. You know what I know what it's like to be homeless and on the streets, not knowing where you're going to lay your head. Well, you can walk into somebody's house and say, I love you. I really want to be with you. And it, especially if you're a nice looking brother. Now, I've met some nice looking brothers who are homosexuals. I meet them all the time here in Atlanta. They present acting careers. I mean, y'all, I done met all these crazy brothers in this town. I'm in the gym, minding my business, working out. I meet these guys. As I get to know them, I say, wow, how are you surviving with no income, no job, no assets? How, what's going on here? They're not surviving. They're looking for somebody to take advantage of. And then he says, you are, are the next victim. I've been a victim to this. I'm paying a very heavy price right now. 
dealt with an individual who was not good. Who, um, uh, when you, yeah, I'm a hustler. But when you hustle a hustler, something you a good, you 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 have truly done something. I mean, it's hard to explain how somebody was what it feels like to be manipulated by someone. It's just not a good feeling. No one wants to be hustled and manipulated by somebody, especially just for them to have a place to stay. I'd rather the motherfuckers just say, "I would need a place to stay." I need a warm bed or a couch to sleep on so I get on my feet. Can you help the brother out just for a few weeks or a couple of months? I'm looking for work. I'm looking for a job. But they won't go that route. They're going to stay in a relationship. They like you. They love you. Love at first sight. Give me a break. And if you're not aware of what's going on, it's like, I wasn't aware, and many people are not aware, because we've always been, you've always been a self-sufficient person who paid your bills on time, then you probably, you probably would not, not understand what's going on out in the streets today. How people are trying to take advantage of people just for a place to stay. Beats the homeless shelter. If they play the game long enough, they can get a good, they can get to the winner. They hang it with you to the winter to spring break for the jump ship. Find another victim. They hang it there to the summer as long as they can and they find another victim. They just jump from couch to couch to couch from victim to victim to victim. That's all they know. They haven't worked a job in years. Don't want to work a job. Have no interest to. No need to. You have to wonder. What's going on in these guys' heads? Why are they so lost like this? But they are. Homosexual. Not homosexual, but homosexual. H-O-B-O. Because it means, because it can be gay or straight. Black or white. They're just hustlers. They look to manipulate somebody. They will lie, cheat, do whatever they need to, need to do so that they have a place to stay. To have a place to sleep. A place to stay warm. I get it. Everybody wants a warm bed to sleep in. Even if it's not your own bed. You just want to be able to lay your head and sleep in the other. It's not going to be raining on your head. Yeah, I've met my share of homosexuals. I meet them all the time at the gym. It's talking about the gym environment. That's scary to me now. It used to be I used to go in the gym and say you could probably meet somebody decent. Uh uh. Not anymore. Got too many guys in the gym working out from sun up to sundown, no job, no income. These gym just pumping waste. They look great. But there's some issues here. No job, no income, no assets. Not going anywhere with their lives. Not doing anything positive. You have to wonder what's wrong with these guys. How did they end up in this position? What did they do? Must that just a little weird. How did they end up in this position? I've come to the conclusion. Some guys, unfortunately, some people are just not survivors. And that's all they know is to hustle somebody and take advantage of some person. That's all they know. They don't know anything else. Especially when you do research and you find this person to be at this person's home for months, they kick down and into another person's home, and they kick down into another person's home for months, then they kick down into another person's home. They never had to, this has been going on for years. Years. You have to wonder what's going on in people's minds. Are they crazy? Why can't you get your own place? Why can't you pay your own bills? Another job market sucks here in Atlanta. It's because I 
Yeah, it's really kind of odd that so many people come here with no game plan to survive. Other uh, than taking advantage of somebody, laying up on their couch, eating up their food, drinking up their. And let me tell you all something. This situation is very common in Atlanta. I don't know if you're in other cities. But I learned that here in Atlanta, you got a lot of guys coming here for the sole purpose, both gay and straight, the sole purpose of try, trying to take advantage of a person. They know it's a flock of lonely people here. And most times they look good. And they can lie. Woo! Professional liars. That's how I call them. They got a doctorate degree in lying. They're so good at lying and manipulating people. You say, why won't you go sell cars? You, you can talk to anybody about a damn car. You're such a lying, such a lying manipulator. You've been in store with a $5,000 Honda for $40,000. They don't want to do that. Because they want to hustle you. And take advantage of you. And abuse you and use up your money and be up on your couch and watch TV while you out there struggling to pay these bills. Well, I know how the homosexual community works. I done met my shit hustlers. Didn't know what the term was, but now I know what it is a homosexual. Stay away from them. If you have suspicions about a person, no income, no, no job, and trying to struggle, and you're still struggling, how did you get in this position? How long have you been struggling like this? Be warned. These people have been doing this for years. You got some vicious, nasty people out there. They look and take advantage of anybody they can. That's all they want to do. They want to take advantage of any person they can get their hands on. They want to do whatever it takes. Whether it's having sex with a person they really don't like, laying in a person, being with a person they really don't want to be with, kissing and loving and hugging a person they really don't want to touch, but they do it. Because they don't have a choice. And they lie. And if you didn't get into your head, play all these games, you thinking you got something of some substantial, substantial, something genuine. But it ain't. It's just a homosexual doing what they do best deceive, harm, manipulate, lie. Anyway, I can go on and on about these homosexuals, but I'm tired. It's approximately 12 o'clock, almost 12 o'clock. I don't take a shower, I'm going to be in a little bit sweating. I don't know why I'm sweating. Ooh, this heat is killing me in this house. I turn this heat down, and I'm still burning up. And I guess this drink is not helping. I'm really bad. Like my videos, click like, share them, share them with friends. Let me know my. Let me know your thoughts about the hobosexuals. Have you ever encountered a hobosexual? Has anybody ever laid up on your couch, manipulated you, took advantage of you, just to have a place to stay or food or clothing or whatever? A shower, toilet, what, anything. Just share your stories. That way we can kind of get an idea of letting people know how often this happens and what signs to look for. Anyway, I'm out of here. It is Monday, January 8th. The time is probably about 12 o'clock. It is almost the 9th. If you like my videos, click like. Share them with family members and friends. And I'm out of here. Bye.